Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, we're talking all about February favorites and fails. I can't believe March is already here, um, but let's just keep it moving. I am dying for spring. But anyway, that is what we're going to be talking about today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You can ring the bell. It will give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday between 1 and 2-ish. So yeah, like, make comments, ring the bell, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support. And thank you so, so much for helping me grow this channel. And now without further ado, let's get going. Okay, cool. I'm like so super excited. I have a few fails this month. A few fails, but with a, with an asterisk on a, on a few of them, on one of them. Yeah, but anyway, let's just dive right into this, shall we? Girl, um, I don't know what's been happening January, February of 2022, but it's like one foundation after another. Boom, 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 boom. I am still testing foundations. By the way, all these favorites that I'm talking about, I did do videos. I will leave them all linked below. Um, yeah, let's just get right into these doggone foundations. Number one. Number two and number three so far. Girl, I love them all. I love them all. I will tell you, I did do a video, like I said, um, trying to test these two out, which one I thought was better for me personally. I just thought that the Charlotte Tilbury gave me more of a finished glow. It is what I have on my face today. And it just covered up just a little bit better than the Chanel. They're both fantastic. They're both, and all these new foundations, I will tell you, I am 54 years old. I have normal skin, whatever the heck that is. A little bit of dry patches, you know, on my forehead, around my mouth, between my eyes, stuff like that. But I'm um, so, these foundations, I don't know if it would work if you have like more of like a combination closer to oily or or oily skin. But for me personally, and I think people with a uh, drier complexion, these are beautiful. This one in particular is very, very glowy, very hydrating. Again, I love it. I love this healthy glow. I think it's so, so beautiful. And again, with the Chanel, this is the, um, what is this called? This is the, um, the Red Camellia Re Revitalizing Foundation. It is so, you know what? Let's just watch a little bit of these. They are so, so beautiful. Again, this is, they're all gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. Again, maybe like one, one slightly over another with like a minute little difference, but they are so, so beautiful. And then the last one that I just picked up, that is not true because I am testing out the Bounce, the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. Girl, that's going to have to be a March, girl. It's going to have to be a March. This is beautiful. I hemmed and hauled. I'm like, girl, I already have two. Why do I have to get another one? Because I needed it. Because I needed it. This is so, so beautiful. This is their light reflecting foundation. Again, um, same thought process, girl. If you, if you have a little bit oily skin, you may not like these. But anyway, I think they're so beautiful. I think they're so beautiful. So that's why I had to put them um, in my um, February favorites. Let's just watch them real quick. I'm going to just put a pump, not even. By the way, I am doing um, a few videos as I'm sitting down today. Um, I'm leaving for Florida for a fantabulous R&R, just a few days, like maybe four or five days. Um, just to get out of Dodge. I live in New Jersey. It's freaking freezing out here. So anyway, so we're going to go to Florida for just a couple of days. So I'm trying to film as much as I can now and editing and pre um, posting and everything. But anyway, so um, yes, I've been doing a lot of swatching, makeup, being trying on all that good stuff. So I'm going to just put a little itty bitty dab of each one. And hopefully you could see the difference. And if not, and like I said, they are so slight. I'm talking slight or rooney, slight, slight, slight. And again, it's it's all like to your preference. Some of them have like a scent to them. You know how I feel about that. Some of them don't. And, um, you know, some of them are a little, yeah, these are so freaking close. Um, the only one that really gave me a problem color-wise um, was the NARS. It's tricky, but let me just show you. So this up top, let me just lower my light. Yeah. So let me just lower my light so you can see that better. Can you see a little bit better? So up on top is the Charlotte Tilbury. I think the color is perfection for me. I think it's so, so pretty. And then in the middle is um, the Chanel, and then on the bottom is the NARS. You could tell that the NARS has a little bit more of like an orangey tone. It even looks like that Chanel is kind of oxidizing, oxidizing a little bit. 
but look at the Charlotte Tilbury. It is so, the color to me, it's so perfect. But anyway, um, yeah, so these three have been my super de duper favorite for the month of February. They're so, so nice. Okay, moving right along. <sighs> Just want to preface that this next product is out of stock and it's been. And it was, and it came back in. I snatched the lover and then went right back out. I'm talking about this fantabulous, rare beauty. This is a bronzing stick. And this color in particular is in Happy Soul. This is the color that I was waiting for. I want to say she's got four colors, five colors. I'm not really sure. I will post it right over here. But this is the coolest one that she has. It's so beautiful. Although as I'm putting it on my skin, it doesn't look cool at all. But this is, in my opinion, the coolest color out of all of them. It's so beautiful. Very very unique and interesting formula. This is a cream. Let me just do it for you right over here. It's creamy. It's a cream color. Creamy. It's super. When you touch it, I'm going to go right here. When you touch it, powder, like in a split second. It is so interesting. When you glide it, it's creamy. You touch it like, like this simultaneously. Glide cream. Touch powder. So beautiful. But this is, look how beautiful that blends in. It is so beautiful. And like I said, I want to say that probably the darkest color is still available. I'm not really sure. If you can get your hands on this little lover, snatch it the hell up super de duper quick. As soon as this color comes back in stock, I'm going to so, so grab it. It's beautiful. It is such an interesting formula. It blends so effortless, effortlessly. It's so, so great. I love, 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 love that product. And then segueing again with still the Rare Beauty. Girl, you know I'm not a powder girl. You know I'm not a powdery girl, if anybody who knows me. This powder is so special. Like, I I like because I have the, let me see. This one is the light. Let me just put a little bit on here to show you. First of all, the packaging is great. It's got like this little, um, little covering, if you will. Once you take the powder out, you can cover it. It's so, so nice. Let me just show you the color on my finger. This is light, but I don't know. You can't feel it. It feels so good. It feels so light. Let me do it again so I can get my words. It feels like creamy, but it's a powder. You know what I'm trying to say? It is so beautiful. What I liked about it is it's light enough to go underneath my under eyes because I do like that brightening effect underneath my eyes. But like for an example, like right over here, it looks a little bit like shiny, but it 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 does away with the shine, but it still keeps a glow. Let's just do it right now, shall we? I'm gonna just grab my I'm going to just grab my Real Technique. This is what I usually use for underneath my eye. And I'm going to just swirl like a little bit. I'm going to just swirl this a little bit. And we're going to go right here. You see like, right? do I have a mirror anywhere? Not really. Um, so I'm going to just use my phone. So I could show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so you could see like right over here, it looks like it's a little shiny. You see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the powder... But do you see how interesting that is? It takes down. Hmm. It takes down the shine, but it still leaves the glow. Isn't that so interesting? It is so, so pretty. I like I said, I loved it initially underneath my eyes. Michael, this is really pretty. And again, I'm not really I'm gonna put it again right by my pores. Let me just show you one side first. You see that? Now look over here, it's still right over here. It's a little bit shiny. So I use it on this side, but it's still glowy. It's not shiny anymore, but it's still glowy. I thought it was such a great, great powder. And girl, you know that. You know I'm not a powdery girl. I might as well just do everything else. Isn't that beautiful? I am like so, so enjoying this. And uh, yeah, never say never, girl. Never say never. This is such a beautiful, beautiful product. I and um, I don't even know if I had this in last month's video. And if I did, don't matter. I still love it. But I am so, so super impressed with the rare, with the rare Beauty um, line. I think for the most part, most of her products are really top-notch. Um, if you could tell that she puts a lot of thought into it, um, the formulas are just unique. So, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And then um, two more favorites, girl. I love this freaking sponge. This is in their Cookies and Dreams 
collection. I think it's a limited edition. I did do a video on that, well, some of their products in there. I will link that one below. This sponge is so great. I'm always like, I try to explain it. I'm like, well, you know, it's spongy. No shit. It's a sponge, girl. Come on. It's a sponge. But something about it, it just, it's got, it's, it's, it's spongy enough that you could contour it into whatever kind of shape that you want. But it's like a thicker sponge. -er. Do you know what I'm trying to say? The, sp the sponge is just thicker. It's just as pliable as any other sponge, a beauty blender, a real technique, or whatever kind of sponge that you use. Still the same kind of mobilization but I feel like it's a little bit thicker. I don't know. It is so, so nice. I think this is still a limited edition, so I'm not sure if they're going to keep these. Um, so I did go to my local Walmart, and I happened to see a few of them, and I snatched up like, like three or four more. They are really, really great. And then last but not least for the favorites, girl, I picked up this delicious Koki lip liner. It is what I have on today. This is in Dusty Rose. It is beautiful. One of... Um, yeah, see, to me, this is perfection. I am, I love like a lip liner or a lipstick that's in that, like, uh, it's a pinky nude, but it's like a, like a mauve nude and a pinky, like a cool pink, not like a warm pink. Do pinks come in warm? I think so. But you know what I'm trying to say. Look at this, how beautiful. It is so, so nice. I, I love this lip liner. Actually, I was watching um Kelly Strack. I will leave her down below girl everybody knows she, she i think she's got like a million a million subscribers but you know when i first and she's a young girl girl she's a young girl but she's a jersey girl she's a jersey girl so i'm like girl so am i she went to rutgers like 20 minutes from our house it's so so nice but anyway she talks about this friggin lip liner all the time in dusty rose i did find it on amazon i'm not sure wait a minute was it rite aid cvs cannot remember i did happen to find it and i was like oh girl let me grab it but guess what when i ordered this on amazon um last month i ordered it twice so i do have a backup but anyway it is so beautiful right up my alley so so nice so that is it for the february favorites girl now don't kill me let's just stick with the lipstick don't kill me because this is my little asterisk these milani fetish um lipsticks these happen to be the balms which you know i love girl you love balms what are you talking about it's the colors you know so let me just read you like these bombs. So this is Meet Your New Balm Bestie. They are. This medium coverage buildable balm and lipstick in one is made with an 85% with an blend of nourishing oils for next level moisture and shine that glides, glides on effortlessly. They're 100% vegan formula combined with a rich hydration of a balm, the buildable color of a lipstick and a shine of a gloss um, in one product. You're going to want to keep repeating. My dream come true. It, they are my dream come true. Like I said, the other ones are the matte, and I was like, absolutely not. I'm not gonna. I, I don't like lipsticks. I don't. Even, I hate matte. So let me just grab one anyway. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. These again. I'm gonna go back. First of all, the package is gorgeous. Look at that. It is so beautiful. It's. I'm not. It's. Mm, it's the color, girl. I'm gonna have to go back. I, I'm definitely gonna go back. Let me just swatch these little lovers. Maybe I could keep this one. Maybe I can make this. I can probably make this one work. Okay, I'm going to take this one back. Let me just show it to you. Look how gorgeous. But do you see like the shine? I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to take it back. I'm going to keep this one. This this lust, this lustful. I'm going to keep it. I could, I could, if you shear it out. I take it back. Look how pretty that is. I take that one back. Let me see the one in the middle. It's just too dark. You know what? I lied. I lied like a rug. I'm going to renege. I'm going to take it right back. I'm going to take it right back. They are pretty when you just put a little bit on and I could shear them out. I changed my mind. Thank you, family. I changed my mind. I'm going to put these right over here. I changed my mind. They are really, really pretty. Okay. Forget it. Forget what I said. Beep. Take two. What I really don't like, girl, I had such high hopes. This Jaclyn Cosmetic, what is this thing? Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint. It was so bad. I had to wash my face off. I was doing a video with um, these products. I had to wash my face off and I had to start over. I don't understand this at all. I did pick up the uh, Light Medium. 
Yes, I want to. Yeah, okay, I understand what she's saying. Get the sheer coverage that smooth blurs and enhance the skin, the skin's appearance for an effortless no makeup makeup look with a natural fit girl. Hold up, I. When I put it on, when I put it on, you know how like when you wear a foundation or you grab a foundation that is lighter than your skin and you could see like all your pores, like all the dot, 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 all over. I was like, what the hell? That's exactly how it came out. But it's a light medium. I mean, I am, look at my neck, girl. That's pretty light. So I don't think I got the wrong color. Let me just show it to you. It's super pretty and it's pink. It is so thick. Look at that. We're not going anywhere, kids. And I barely put anything on. I barely, like, did you see that dot? Let's rub it in. I am just going to, yeah. I don't understand what the frig it's supposed to do. And I before I put it in the pile, I said, let me just reread it one more time. And it says it's best to put on with um, your hand, like your fingers. So let me just, I'm just rubbing this in my hands. I mean, look, it does make my hand look so nice. Look at that. Doesn't it look, it makes it look really nice and soft and blurry. You think I should try it again? I don't know. I, I just, I, I just can't do it. It looks so friggin' bad on my face, but my hand does look good. Let me get closer. So here, here's the difference. Can we tell the difference? Shit, we really can. Damn, we really can. But it's just, I just couldn't get it to work. I could not get it to work. As soon as I put it on, I'm like, what the hell? So I'm going to have to say no on this. Damn it. I'm going to have to say no on this with an asterisk. I'm going to try it one more time. I don't know why this video is making me change my mind. But last but not least, girl, I can't do it. This is the Elf Camo Powder Foundation in Light 210. I, I Again, I did do a video on it. I will link it below if I could find it. Girl, It's at first I was like, I don't know. It looks kind of light. It was so freaking dark on me. It's very, very powdery. I mean, like when you, when you like put it on your brush or whatever, there's just powder all over the place. A million times I kept on catching myself going... <gasps> blowing so this is what it looks like i'm gonna put it right over here let me let me go on the other side because i still have that what you call that jack and yeah holy i can't you know what it is it was pretty as the day went on it's right over here first of all i thought it was too gonna be too light it was too, way too dark way too dark if you can see i'm gonna just thicken this up just to show you the color not that I would ever put on this thick. Look at that, how orange that looks. And I will admit, as the course of the day went on, it looked nicer because it kind of blends in with your natural oils. But girl, in between my eye, I already have a dry patch in between my eye to begin with. It was so bad. Like every time I went to go look, okay, the forehead looked so friggin' nice. But in between my eyes, like any place where... I have like a dry patch, like I have them on the side of my mouth. Be between my eyes was, every time I'm like, oh, my bank up, and I would go, Whoop, and I would zoom right on in between my eyes. Surprisingly, like I get dry patches like right over here on the side, but the forehead looks so damn good. But girl, maybe in the summertime, I mean, I, listen, I'm not going to throw these away. Hell no. I paid money for them. No. Um, Maybe in the summertime, like the powder, like it'll look, better because you know summertime you know we get more sweaty and dewier i don't know but girl i just at this very moment i just can't girl i just cannot do it but anyway so that is it these are my favorites and fails for the month of february i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so so much for sharing your time with me and uh yeah guys as always be good to each other love each other and have a great great day bye